Hi everyone, welcome to Molin Cares, welcome to uh, Africa Culture Promotion Center. This is Molin again and I am back with another video on cybercrime part 3. This is the third video in the series where I'm sharing tips on how to stay safe online. So today I'm talking about staying safe online and I make it very practical. If you haven't seen my first videos on how to stay safe, please go to my channel. I'll put the links also here below so that you can also update yourself on some other ways to stay safe. So today I will share some random emails that you get asking you to click some links and to do all sorts of things. And sometimes in a busy working day, you don't really think about it. You just get the email and because it seems urgent, the immediate thing is to react. So first of all, if it always seems urgent, that is the first red flag. In my previous videos, I discussed the red flags, so you can look at them in there. Now I will just go straight to the email that I got just this afternoon and uh, show you some of the things that make it suspicious. Enjoy and please share you in the comment section. Share with us some of those that you have also received where you have been suspicious or if you also fell prey to it. I find this very important that we share because just recently a friend of mine lost uh, quite some money on just a fraudulent email and sometimes it's almost impossible to get this money back because once they take it the place is shut down or the link is shut down and you can't even follow it up so let's get right to the video so here is the email that i received as you can see i haven't yet opened it it says truck and trace so it's coming from truck and trace somewhere and it says uh, my packet is on the way number five and before i even open it i see that it is asking me to follow my packet it is being uh, uh, they are it, they are working on it in the distribution centrum in amsterdam and it talks about a two euro sending cost so when i open it this is immediately what I see. Track and trace. When I touch on it, it doesn't open for me the email address. So we'll get back to that. But it is saying, follow your packet. The status of my packet apparently is being worked on. So this is in that. So I'm translating for you into English. But it says I need to fulfill ascending costs in order for them to send it. Then they say my packet will be sent, delivered after I pay. So then there is a link to click here, which I will not click because if you remember in my first video, I say do not click links that you're not aware of. So I will not click this because I already suspect that it's spam. So normally when you click the, packet, the, the link, it might take you to another. So it is asking you, to pay two euros so it might take me to a payment option and then i'll put in my details and then they can use that to withdraw more money from my account and when you go lower you see it says you can unsubscribe at any time here unsubscribe from what it is an email that does not give any any things you know at the bottom you're supposed to see what is the company who are they it doesn't so i will not click the the, the links and when you get an email like that and you're not sure, do not click the links. So the reason I find it suspicious is, first of all, I am being asked to pay money to have my, my package delivered. Secondly, I am not expecting any package. So in that case, I'm very suspicious. And thirdly, they're asking me to click something to pay. So then I am completely suspicious. It's something that normally I advise people to do because here you see it's been sent to me. So that's my email address. But look where it's coming from. This news at ysosschool.info. So this is not from track and trace of a postal system. It's ysos.info. So... In some cases, then you can go to that domain name, what is ysosschool.info. 
ysoschool.info and see if it comes up with something. So I'm going to do, uh, it was saying S -O -S -Y -S -O school. ysoschool.info. What does it come to when you search that? You can see why a school system info, it does not come up with any, I mean, Yarnell School Online, I did not order anything from there. So these are all pointers that will give you an idea that this is fake. If it is from track and trace over postage system, then I should be able to trace what part, department is that. Is that post.nl or is that uh, TNT post? Is a DHL, if they have a track and trace, it should lead to the website of the postal system. So I say this is fake. Do not click on the link at all. So what do you do in cases like this? Like in the previous video, I advise that first of all, you can spam it. This is directly spam. So you mark it as spam and uh, don't just delete because if you just delete then they they can always send you other emails so what you do just mark it as spam and be done with it do not even try to click those links the last time a friend of mine clicked the link and they gave her some fake instructions and before she knew she was losing hundreds of euros from her account and by the time she traced it back to that it was already too late if they really have a parcel to deliver to you, you will have ordered something and you know a parcel is coming. It's like getting an email that says you have won a lottery, yet you didn't play. So that doesn't make any sense if they say you've won a lottery, yet you didn't play. So please be careful and be safe. So there you have it. I hope you learned something and please share your experiences again in the comment section. If you have not subscribed before, please subscribe so that you can always be notified. Press the notification bell so that you can always be notified when we share other videos on all sorts of things. I share videos on staying safe. I share videos on integrating into a foreign culture. I share videos and material for people who are living in the diaspora and would like to keep connected with their culture. So don't forget to subscribe and sometimes I share just fun things that I come across like uh, fun nature moments. So please subscribe and let's keep in touch.